Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Pirate Alliance Kazuna Clash against Blackbeard. And in today's video, we're showcasing some teams that don't use Boa as a friend captain. Now, this is a regular Kazuna, so a lot of people are going to want to be doing a lot of cysts. So, Momo teams will be on the cards. But if you guys didn't summon, or if you guys don't have the access to Boa friend captains, hopefully these teams will help you out. So, taking a look at the first fight, the, the Psy variation against Blackbeard. On stage one, there is three enemies, and they will re retreat, but Cerebrals, Fighter, and Powerhouse characters get all the good stuff. There is an attack down if you're below a three times chain multiplier. Five turns of resilience, and then one stack of hunger. So, you have to get around all that. On level uh, three, you are going to have to take on a bunch of stuff up to level 30, and then after level 31, it does change a little bit. So there's five turns of recovery by normal attacks only, immunity to everything except increased damage taken and weakening effect. You get a 50% HP cut, five turns of pain at 20,000, and then five turns of defense up. After level 31, the defense up goes up by one turn, so six turns, and the pain goes up to 30,000 plus. There is a barrier for three tandem Orbs. So the first team you guys see in today's video looks a little bit like this. It's led by Alba and uses a friend captain super tandem Blackbeard. Now you don't need to use a friend captain super tandem Blackbeard. I just put him there um, because he, he just works really, really well. But if you have your own Blackbeard, you can run him as your leader and then like take off Whitebeard and then use Blackbeard and then just do some fun stuff there. But to take care of stage two, we are going to be using the Blackbeard special. So wherever you have Blackbeard, whether you use him as a friend captain or use him on the team, that's going to work out nicely. His special is going to take care of the um, being below a certain chain threshold, as well as carrying that into the final stage. To get around the resilience, we're using the Queen special. Queen's going to do end of turn damage. Queen also gives you a full board of tandem orbs. And ideally, you're going to want to try and keep them if you can. However, what you can use is you can use a support on Queen to lock your orb, something like Custard, or something like um, uh, Perispero. That could definitely work too. If you need more damage, you can use the White Bid special on stage 2 as well, but I believe you'll have enough damage anyway. On the final stage, to get around the defense up, we're going to use the Luchi special. He removes defense up, he gives you an orb buff, and he gives you base stats, which is really, really handy. Then we can use the um, remember, you are going to take 30k pain every time you do any special or any swap. Then we can use the Marco special because we're below 50% HP. He's going to give us color affinity to our powerhouse characters, and he gives us a nice chunky heal, which is definitely going to be needed after that 50% HP cut. Then we can use Alba, we can use his super type, we can, oh, we can use his special, we can use his super type, all that fun stuff. But you really want to make sure you keep three tandem orbs, so just be very careful who you tap with on turn two, and if you have a support that you can use, make sure to slap it on Queen, and you're good to go. Final unit is um, Whitebeard. He's going to be our attack booster, but if you are using Blackbeard as a friend captain, you can use his super type, or sorry, super class, so that way you get a uh, attack boost there. So that's first size. Should work out quite nicely. Moving on to... Wrong way. Moving on to the fight against Int now. Uh, I believe Psy, Int, and Strength characters get all the good stuff. On stage 2, there's Bind on your left-hand column. It's harder to hit perfects as a barrier for two perfect hits as well as five turns of defense up. On level three, before level 30, you have to deal with only allowing you to use two specials for three turns. There's five turns of a chain multiplier at 1.1, so you really want to carry something into the final stage. Um, immunity to everything except love, love. Um, there's five turns of despair after sockets, and then an attack down if you're below 3.5 or less of a chain. Uh, if you set the chain multiplier at all, it's going to remove your beneficial effects. After level 31, the addition is if your chain multiplier is below 3.75, and there's an intimidation on attack boost. Plus, the despair goes up by one turn, so you have to deal with six turns of despair now. But if you run the old trusty Gear 5 combination, 6-star Gear 5 with 6-plus Gear 5, you can get around a bunch of debuffs like Bind with the 6-star Captain ability, and then Despair with the 6-plus Captain ability, which works out really, really nicely. On Stage 2, you can use the Sanji and the Zoro special, as they both remove 3 turns of um, Defense Up, and they give you 2 3-turn buffs. So you get the Chain Boost with Sanji, 
and then you get the chain boundary with Zoro. The two of them just take care of stage two. They give you a whole bunch of nice effects that you can carry into the final stage. Um, and with the two of them, you're starting at 3.7 in terms of your chain, your chain boundary. So that's that's really nice, even on level uh, 31 plus. Next, we've got Odin. Odin has the limit break ability that allows you to get around um, only using two specials on the final stage. This ability right here. Um, if you have it maxed out, I believe it'll go to um, three turns right here. Plus, with his special, if you have a type effect, boost live when you use his special. He's a 2.25 times attack boost for three turns for your free spirit and your slasher characters. So he's going to be an attack booster that goes through intimidation after you use the gear five special. So that way you have an orb boost, color affinity, your chain shenanigans, an attack boost, and then finally we're using Sop Sop. We're just going to use the Super Swap Sop Sop. That gives you the uh, resi uh, resistance down, and then you use their special for base stats as well as a conditional boost, which works really, really nicely. So this team should do bits. I don't imagine having any problems well down the line, and it should should carry you for, for pretty much the entire Kazuna. Moving on to the final fight now against the Strength Variation. This one is a little bit odd. Um, on Battle 1, there are six enemies appearing, and Driven, Slashes, and Free Spirit characters get all the good stuff. After one turn, though, three enemies will run away. Uh, this leaves three enemies, so, like, you can do some stuff uh, with En Mazora here, um, and that's who our friend captain's going to be. But on Stage 2, there's five enemies. They give you five turns of Threshold and uh, Rainbow Shield. Plus, there is a 51% HP cut, so you're going to take 51% HP. So just be mindful that when you are using En Mazora, where you are in and when you're not in um, the end Mazora state. Um, after one turn though, four of the enemies will retreat, except one enemy will remain. So just be mindful of that when you are taking down this stage. Now on the final stage, Blackbeard has basically three typings. He goes strength, dex, quick, dex, strength with his HP, depending on where you hit him at. He's basically immune to everything except for um, the love, love ability, I believe. That's why they've done this. Um, yeah, uh, I'll, honestly, I don't even really know why they've done it like this, but delay, poison, venom, progressive, uh, progressive poison, and defense down, and instant defeat he's completely immune to, but it's not full immunity, so interesting there. Normal attacks only, three turns of tap timing, hitting harder, but so perfect harder to hit. You get a full board of bomb orbs, lock slots, five turns of increased damage taken to yourself, and then there's a threshold of damage of 50% of the crew's, of the enemy's maximum HP. So you can only do 50% HP on uh, each turn. There's five turns of special bind as well. And then after one turn, your top and middle row get slot binded. You can only use one special for two turns and then uh, normal attacks only. Was there no normal attacks only? No, there is. Okay. And then also there is interrupt after one turn. You take 30,000 damage. And if you don't get rid of this... Three times damage, that will become 90,000 damage. Very annoying to deal with after a 51% HP cut. But after level 30, you are going to have to deal with um, this recovery amount um, debuff. And then there's also one extra turn of special bind. So a little bit annoying there, but nothing too crazy. Because we are going to be using Super Tandem Shanks. Now, um, the friend captain here is Super Tandem Zoro. And the idea of this particular team is it gets around two of the very annoying mechanics of all the HP bars being different. And then also the damage... Limiter. So having Shanks as captain uh, allows you to get access to his super type. And to use his super type, you see any of the following on the crew. And we have a Luffy and a Ben Beckman. So this will turn the enemy straight into quick. It just, it won't, you won't have to worry about, uh, sorry, into strength. You won't have to worry about the HP threshold. And this way, everyone on the team will be super effective against all types. Now, ideally, we are using a Super Tandem uh, Zora friend captain. And the idea of that is because we're using this Luffy to remove Special Bind, he's also our orb booster for free spirits and our base attack booster. But the reason that this is so good is because he starts with a full board of recovery orbs. And then what you can do is with Zoro is you can actually activate the Emma effect. This will turn all recovery orbs into Wano, and then you just start with a full board of Wano orbs. Depending on what the typing are of the enemies on turn one and then on turn two, you can tap and quick tap and keep your, um, your Wano orbs. So that way you don't have to worry about getting rid of them. Now, I have included Zoro on the team, but he's replaceable with any damage reduction or threshold remover. Um, that's pretty much the only reason he's here. So that way you can chop and change between if you want to use Shanks as a friend captain or Emma Zoro as a friend captain. But his special is great because he just removes the damage reduction and the threshold. He also gives you color affinity, which is going to help out a lot there too. And then if you need to, you can actually use the special of Kaido on stage two as well. Now, Kaido's big gimmick here is he applies increased damage taken, but he also gives himself a Wano orb. So it's just another guaranteed Wano orb. If 
the typing is really, really bad, we can just replace um, Kaido with Hiyori, and then that way you just activate the Hiyori special on turn two. That way you're going to keep um, the Wano slots, and then you can move into the final stage. Finally, we've got Sop Sop once again, um, completely replaceable here. They're just a conditional booster, as well as um, some more resistance down as well. Um, so that works quite nicely. Plus, I just wanted to like sort of funnel into Shanks' super tandem ability. Um, but you have Color Affinity, you have a base stat boost, you have an all boost for free spirits, um, conditional. Uh, attack boosts like you've pretty much got everything you need on this particular team and whilst it's a very wonky fight It should be able to get the job done fairly easily. But that's gonna wrap up the video Hope you guys enjoyed this one If you did make sure to go down there belt the like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff Most importantly whether you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one Oh, hit the bell notification too because uh, we will be doing Momo teams and we will be doing stuff with Boa as well. Peace